Hey, welcome back to Three Chords in the Truth. Your host, Pete Kramer. Uh, really glad we got this thing back on the air again because we've had so many cool people that have been in here in the last several weeks and stuff like that. We're going to uh, finish it up just at Memorial Day, but then we'll start it back up again in the fall. And because um, there's there's just so many folks that would like we'd like to talk to that they'd like to talk to us and we'd like to promote them as much as we certainly can. Uh, as always, I got to take a shout out to my friends Lynn and Bev at Special Spaces Buffalo. They do bedroom revamps for little kids with cancer that uh, they pretty much confined to their rooms and they make them to whatever their theme is that they'd like it to be. And they just do amazing work. And the thing is, they work only on um, donations. So if you uh, check out Special Spaces, they'd appreciate whatever you can do. Um, check out our stuff over at eastwoodprojectmusic.com. We've got all of my band stuff over there. And uh, got a gentleman on tonight. This is really kind of cool to me because he's everywhere, man. Every place you look at, he's always out. He knows all the bands, where they're playing, when they're playing. He's got lists and people go to ask. I think some of the bands actually ask him, where are we playing tonight? <laughs> Could you tell us? <laughs> anyway, Jim Kadrin, I'm so glad to have you here, man. Glad to be here, Pete. Thank you very much for so, inviting me. No, my pleasure. So, um, look, man, I've, I've seen you. You're all over Facebook, three or four clubs, sometimes in a day, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Every weekend you're going out seeing and You're a big promoter of local music. I've heard you on um, Tom Bowerly and uh, WBEN. I've uh, heard Tom Bowerly talk about you yeah. and everybody that is in local music in Western New York knows this guy and um, they know him as well. So we were talking before we started, how did you start this? Because it started off with your, uh, you and your wife or you started it first. Well, going back even a little bit further, how it started was, my first wife, Patty, she passed away in 2014. Oh, I'm sorry. So, you know, but, uh, but my daughter and I started, that's when we started to go out to see live music. So uh, we made friends with a couple of the bands, um, the, the Nerds Gone Wild and Disco Duck. I don't know if mm -hmm. you know the members of Disco Duck, Mark Chimes, Dave Mandola, Dave and Molia, and, uh, and Casey. And uh, so we would go see them quite a bit. And then coming into, you know, like 2016, 2017, started going seeing, you know, well, there's more music out there. But you did this with your daughter? Originally, yeah. That's daughter, so cool. My daughter, Hannah, just loves, she loves our generation of music. Okay. She really does. She just, she loves everything. Because that's when music was good. Yeah, right. Seven, <laughs> 70s and the 80s, you know. And then she has her stuff in, from the 90s and that. Yeah. And she likes, you know, her bands, you know, uh, Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy. Those are her ah. things, you know, so. They're very cool. I've listened to some some of her stuff, so it's very cool. And then I said, as, as we got gone along, 2017 came along, and that's when we, you know, we're starting to go see other bands in the area. Now, uh, uh, Disco Duck turned me on to Back to the Bars, okay, which is the same band members except for uh, Michael McGuire on keys and Jeff Cook on drums, okay. And um, so they played, you know, great music that uh, you know i grew up with you know i think that's why they were called back to the bar so right. and then uh my friend uh my friend gary johnston and another friend of ours Anne marie um we started uh talking about well where's everybody playing and um you know there wasn't really anything out there but you could actually look on facebook and if you if people created an event you could actually you know save the event but how do you get all that stuff, you know, out to the other people? Right. And when that's where I came in, where I started writing down a list and they used to send me what they found all the time. So I just would compile it together and I would just put it out like for Friday, Saturday. That's all I would do. But how cool of you to do that? Yeah. It's my contribution. I can't, I don't play instruments. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I love to sing, but you know, I should, I should. <laughs> <laughs> But, I'm told uh, the same thing all yeah. the time. <laughs> so anyways, but it was kind of cool, you know. And then uh, I also have another friend. Uh, his name's Bill Mason. He's a drummer. He plays with uh, a, a few bands in, in the West New York area. Um, Lithium, uh, Mo Porter. Yeah. Uh, and he, he, he's got a working man's dead band, which is incredible. Really? Yeah, they have two drummers. He's a, he, he, 
they're an incredible band. Wow. If you like dead music, I, I suggest go go check them out. Too. Okay. Oh, very cool. Uh, so. <laughs> now, who knew that that was going to happen? <laughs> but uh, I apologize. That's for that. okay. That is very unprofessional. <laughs> so anyway, so I started compiling the lists. And they used to just put them out every weekend. Just, you know, I used to work on a Friday, you know, on like Thursday or Friday and just get it out to people right away. So it got passed around to a lot of our friends. And uh, then I, I met my wife and in 2018, like January 2018. And um, we were dating by February. And then all of a sudden we just started going out to places and she really enjoyed the different music that's pretty sweet to yeah. find somebody that has the same she, passion that you have yeah Car carrie that's my wife's name carrie she's incredible with that she loves to go out um she 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 knows her music too because she's she's younger than i am okay. so she's got a big generation thing of, of of newer music and stuff that i do you know i'm i'm pulling from the 60s and 70s and 80s yep. and she's pulling from the 90s which helped us a lot you know to and we would go to you know a bar here and then jump over to another place we i mean there's times we did five six bars a night you know <laughs> see, it's just i'm glad you said that, that. <laughs> I, I see the things that you post on facebook i'm like he was just here two hours ago yes, how is he yeah. over there now yeah and he was in east aurora and now he's in north tonawanda yeah. how the hell you do all that man well we, <laughs> we, we usually it's logistics so so we try to go into the furthest place and then work our way back okay so that's that's the best way of doing it um uh, but uh, so, yeah, we, so we got, you know, kind of known around. It's funny because, you know, my name's Jim. Her name's Carrie. So he says, well, remember Jim Carrey, the comedian. <laughs> That's how everybody remembers us. But, uh, yeah, we uh, we so we just started hopping around and stuff like that. And then what I used to do, I used to uh, post videos constantly of bands playing everywhere. because so I would get questions, you know, what is this? Who's this band? Who's this band? Who's this band? And then you know, I, I says, well, you guys have to go out and see them. Yeah. I can only show you videos that, you know, Facebook allows me to, you know, sometimes quality is not good. But what I usually do now, I record them to my phone. Then I post it because then, then the quality is better. Yeah, much better. So much better. So <coughs> I, I post, uh, post a lot of videos. And then, you know, over time, we made a lot of friends with, of course, the musicians, yeah. the bands. You know, they would send me stuff week to week. And then, um, and then of course, you know, 2020 hits and the pandemic oh, yeah. hits and then everybody's stuck at home <coughs> and, no, and nobody knows what to do anymore. You know, nobody, you know, everybody's so hungry to find some kind of entertainment yeah. besides television. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of the solo artists were doing like, like broadcasts, like you said, and, you know, they're doing their own, their own thing, trying to get people prone. And then I started looking around and seeing you know, where was it letting up a little bit? And there was a few places that were allowing live music back pretty quickly, you know, rock and buffalo. I have to give them a plug because they were they're were already yeah. doing music already, you know, they already had, had music in there with all the restrictions and everything like that, you know. And um then I just started compiling a, a more uh, extensive list, really searching for uh musicians. Where are you playing? Where are you playing? And then that's when uh, like 20 and the 2020 2021 started and that's when i started getting you know more requests mm -hmm. you know where's music being played there's no gusto anymore i got i got the nick nickname now mr gusto you know call me <laughs> mr gusto and all this stuff so i just i just keep up on it week to week and just keep compiling as much as i can for musicians i tried i try to go out to see different music all the time I've, I, I try, I have a list of all the bands and, and, and solo artists that I've, uh, I, I have seen throughout the years, yeah. you know, I try I try to get that and I try to find a way to get to them. You know, it's hard, you know, Oh yeah, it's hard now. But so. there's so much talent in there Western New York. Great deal of talent in Western New York. That's, uh, probably a lot of it's untapped oh, and, I think so. uh, and a lot of it's not heard either. So, yep. um, but uh, I tell you, there was one one band I, I was seeing, you know, like in 2019, um, they they were around. Reset the vinyl. I don't know if you're familiar with them. I, I, yeah, you posted a video yeah. of Reset the Vinyl. Actually, yeah. I was going to bring them up. Yeah, since you brought it up, yeah. um, I had seen the name of the band. Yeah, didn't know anything about them, and I saw something you posted, yeah. 
and I, what's the girl's name? Leah, Leah Pinamero. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm watching this video and I'm thinking, holy crap, she's got a great voice. She's fantastic. And I'm looking down the, um, because it, it flipped to a YouTube page. So uh -huh. I was able to see some of the next songs that were yeah. coming up. And I saw one of them was a heart song. And I'm upstairs yeah. with uh, my wife, Ronnie. And I said, Ron, let's see what um, this is. Because if she can sing Ann Wilson, yeah, I'm sold. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, man, she nailed it. I'm she, like, yeah, yeah. well, I got to go see this band. So you, you have to go see. And I wouldn't have looked at that if it wasn't for right, you, by the way. Right, thank you. <laughs> but there's a, another uh, uh, performance that she does with uh, Carolyn Daniels, and they do a, uh, it's called Gypsy Queen. Okay. And they do a Fleetwood Mac Heart tribute. And oh. it's, it's incredible. They just blow you away. Is that a separate band? Yeah, that's a separate band from the other one. Yeah, yeah. So because Lee is moving to Cock Robin now. Yeah, I heard about that. I just saw. I saw. Yeah, she, she's yeah. Gonna help, you know, work with them and stuff. It's kind of cool, man. Yeah, I mean, so, that's. I mean, Cock Robin's been around for right. God, yeah. since I, I, I saw a posting. They're gonna be coming. Seventy-five. Come play, I think at the Cove. Yeah, the next a couple of weeks. So. Yeah, so it'll be kind of cool. I I haven't seen them play since I think it was. 2019 was the last time I saw Cock Robin play around here. When's but, the first uh, time you saw him play? Oh, uh, probably when I was younger. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, because yeah. I was, I was going to ask you this too, yeah. because, you know, back when we we're pretty much the same age, um, when I was growing up, I mean, you had Bullwinkles and the Barrel Head and he and she. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I'm not sure. I, I grew up pretty much in Chickawaga and Lancaster. Yeah, I was the city of Buffalo. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. too far away. Yeah. But I mean, you could go all over the, and pretty much any night of the week. You could hear a really good band. I mean, there was yeah. Talus, the Warlocks, Cock Robin, Weekend. There were so many of them. And right. um, it was the coolest thing because, I mean, it cost you a buck to get in. Right. The the drinks were ridiculously inexpensive. <laughs> and they were paying the bands a lot of money. I know yeah, a friend yeah. of mine that was um, a chef at a hotel in the falls. And you know, I'm going back to the you know mid-late 70s. And he was making 30, 35 grand a year, which wow. was decent money back then. Right, that's really good money. Yes. And he was able to quit his job wow. to do this full time. Right. So, you know, I mean, there was money to be made. And all of a sudden it was like, pulled the carpet out. There was none of those places left anymore. There was none of the bands around anymore. Yeah, yeah. It sort of died away. And then all of a sudden there was nothing in the area except for the, it got taken over by sound systems. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. DJs took over all the clubs and stuff yeah. like that. So, you know, it's very hard to find any any musicians in a lot of areas. So, and it was easier for yeah. a club owner to pay one guy, right, than five yes. guys. Yeah, right. So <laughs> that's where that ended up. But, uh, but anyways, you know, a, another thing that um, that I've uh, I've gotten myself into so to help promote local music. So fr friends of mine, it's for my 60th birthday, they decided to have it's called Kajina Fest. It's it's a it's a <laughs> it's a use of my last name, and uh, we did they did a we did a, a, a 60th birthday at, at the Rain Tree Bar and Grill. That's uh, Joe Dryja, great guy, helps us out all the time. Um, he um, we had seven bands and six solo artists, and they because it was my birthday, they donated their time. Nice. So they they don't know they don't do so we had we had it all backline. Um, Dave Camarda did our sound. He brings us all his equipment in. He backlined the whole thing. So all you got to do is just bring a guitar, plug in, sure. play five songs, and then you go. So then when we, we the way we did it, we have the, the band start, and then um, while they're getting off stage, we have a solo artist running back and forth the whole oh, night. Oh, sweet. Good way to so do we, it. We usually do it on a Sunday afternoon. We do it during the Bill's Bye week. It's always like in October, <laughs> which, which works out really well. Um, and then, um, I mean, we've done four of them already. Really? Yeah, we've done four festivals already <laughs> with my name. Yeah. Kajina Fest. Kajina Fest, yeah. It's on my shirt, man. <laughs> it's on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, so we've done them in uh, 20, 2019 was the first one. And then 2021, 2022, 2023, 20, uh, 20, and then we're going to do number five this year, I guess. Jeez. So it's, uh, <laughs> Good for um, you. Yeah, actually, that's all. My friend Gary Johnson and Bill Mason are the ones who really get that to go. Because uh, Billy's a he's a good drummer and he knows a lot of people and he he starts the process. We we get to, we sit to, down together and we try to pull you know what 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 bands we want to have play and stuff like that and you know we try to bring a couple of new ones in that nobody ever heard. Yeah. So and and I think we've exposed a, 
some of them to a lot of people that never even heard them before. I, look, man, I'm not going to yeah. lie. I've, I've looked at videos just like I was talking about with Reset the Vinyl. Yeah. There's a lot of videos that you've posted that I've yeah. looked at that I've never heard these bands before. Right, right. They were really interesting. I think yeah. a couple of weeks ago you were at 33 Speakeasy or something yeah, like yeah. that. And uh, it's like, I didn't even know they had bands there. Yeah, yeah. They'll do bands usually at the 33, uh, Friday, Saturday. Um, uh, he tried. He, tr he tries to build up his business with that too. So it's it's it's... Not it doesn't always work for him there this location, but when he gets a good band in there, man, people come in there and yeah. support, you know, and and that's what I I try to push for a lot of people, you know, try to support, you know, support local music, support these people, let's support the venues. I know it's difficult, you know, but you know, what other entertainment you want to do? I mean, you could you could sit around the house and watch TV all day, right? Which I don't like doing no, that much. No, so, it's not, you know, this way it gets it's depressing. Out. Yeah, <laughs> it gets it gets you out, and uh, you know, there's a lot of like I said, there's a lot of good musicians in the area that uh, I think that are that people don't know about. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, so that's so when you when you hear when I first heard Leah sing, and I said, "Wow, amazing!" I, I, I thought I think I'm. I'm, I'm saying I'm jealous because I, I say I think she's the be best female singer in this area. Well, <laughs> I'll probably get a lot of shit for that, well, but yeah. everybody's but, entitled to their opinion, yeah. you know. I, but there's a, a lot of good female singers yeah, yeah. that you didn't have back in. It used right. to be a boys' game, yeah, right. You know, back in the '70s and '80s yeah. and stuff. And that's why I think it's kind of cool because, uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to go with Leah again because you know she was so able to emulate. Again, heart yeah. and a, you know a few others that I listen to and stuff like that. But I'm gonna say, you know, Vicky Lehman from Red Rain. Yes, she brought something to that yeah, band, right? Because I'm listening to some of the things that they were doing, and I, I get that it's not a. Um, she was able to do Freddie Mercury. Right. Freddie Mercury yes. is very difficult to do yes. for any man. Yes. But you put Vicky in there doing that, and then she kicks ass on Pat Benatar and right. stuff like that. Vicky's okay. very talented. He's very good singer. I lo we like we, Carrie and I really like their music a yeah. lot. You know, Red Rains, they do they do a great job with everything. Um, there's uh, I, I see more female singers starting to come out now. Yeah, and that's so. I like that because yeah. they bring a whole new sound. Right. I mean, okay, I, I'm going to say this whether you think I'm right or wrong, <laughs> I don't care because this is not racist. Yeah. There is something about black females voices that is so soulful. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Oh. And you know, I I remember saying something uh on Facebook the one time and a friend of mine says, "How can you say that a black woman's voice is different than a, a white woman's voice?" I'm like, uh, "I'm not saying it in a bad way, number uh, one. And number two, it it's just such you listen uh, to the stones yeah. How many of the Stone songs have got you know that uh, um, "Give Me Shelter"? Yeah. Right. I mean, it's there's three black chicks in there that yeah, are yeah. just so good. good. Right. Right. And it wouldn't yeah. sound the same, in, in my opinion. I mean, we grew up with a lot of a lot, a lot of black women that were just fantastic. Oh yeah. You know? I mean, come on, Diana Ross, Rita Franklin, Tina Turner, Tina Turner. Uh, I mean, I mean, Gladys and, Knight, uh, and, and the younger, you know, uh, Whitney Houston, who, you know, oh God. God bless her soul. I mean, what a like, voice, what a voice, right? And just, you know, but, um, yeah, so that's, you know, so the, so the crux, crux for me every week. So I just work hard. <laughs> I get these lists together and I post them as soon. I, I try to get the information always from the, the local talent. I said, Hey, sure. send me everything. And I'll make sure I, I get it on the list. And I get so many people come up to me and say, hey, Jim, thanks, man. You gave me something to look forward to every week and everything. And uh, I, I don't remember everybody's name and everything like that. But I you, know, you remember I, a lot of names. Yeah, <laughs> I, I cordially, I, I, you know, I shake everybody's hand, you know, and I tell them thank you. I tell them thank you, too, because they're, you know, kind of following me, too. So um, hopefully, I don't know where, where it's ever going to go with anything, but like I said, this is my contribution to local music. So, do, do you get anything out of it from the venues? Uh, no, 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 no they, they don't no. say anything. I don't think they even there's maybe three ven three or four venues that actually you know the owners know who I am and they really, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're dragging all these people in there yeah, and they can't yeah. even say hello to you, yeah, even buy me a drink, right. <laughs> <laughs> I get there's yeah there's a, a few guys who really uh, do good by me and stuff like that so you know I, I don't mind supporting them you know but uh, 
yeah, there's a lot of places where, where we go still that were kind of unknown. And uh, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm surprised. <laughs> and, and see, I've been trying to get somebody on yeah. here that is, you know, a, a venue owner. Yeah. Because I'd like to hear it from the, the venue owner's point of view. Yeah. I'm a musician. You can see how much equipment we've got right, down right, here. Right. There's a lot of money invested, a lot of time, right. a lot of uh, studying. And it's like, you know, you can hear all these comparisons to that. Um, somebody said to me the other day, well, yeah, I'd like to see what they do if their dishwasher starts spilling suds all over in the middle of the dinner hour, you know, <laughs> and then they'll say, oh, we can't afford to pay the plumber. So we'll, um, we'll comp you, <laughs> you know, right. You know, that's not going to happen. You're going to have suds on your floor, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, musicians have got a lot of time and, uh, you know, they take a lot to hone their craft. Right. Right. They, uh, I mean, people have to realize, you know, I, I see sometimes people complain that, you know, they're charging to get into some venues and I, you know, but you have to understand like on a Friday, they just come home from their job. Yeah. They're loading up their car. They got to unload an hour before, uh, play for three, maybe four hours, and then another hour after. So at the end of the day, they've already put another five, six hours in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, 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 it's work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and they, they, a lot of them, they should get paid. You know what I mean? And the only way for venues to, unfortunately, is to charge at the door and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, that's the way it is. But that's you know? the way it was in the 70s that's when the we were growing it, up. Man. Right. You know, they charge a couple bucks at the door. I mean, they charge you five bucks at the door. Just, you know, give it to them, man. Yeah. It just, you know, it goes, you know, it just. I agree because yeah. You, what, uh, yeah, what people don't understand, it's not when you first start playing. When you hit that first chord. That's not when you start. You right. start when you start breaking down everything in your <laughs> right. studio to right. put it up in your car. To, right. And then you got to take it all back home again. I got some friends of mine that um, the other night they played at um, the gin mill in uh, Ellicottville. Ellicottville. Yeah, nice ride, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you've got yeah. an hour packing yeah. up, an hour yeah. to drive, oh, yeah. three hours to play, yeah. an hour to un uh, break everything down, and then drive back home again. And then unload right. everything right that's my that's my, an eight-hour day <laughs> that's my friend bill's like that like that that's he's always happy when he's going down to the gym bill because he just he drives all the way down there and he tells us and <laughs> so he, he can't wait to get back home and it's usually he's getting back home like around 4 a.m or something like that yeah. so well not tired. only that <laughs> you know <laughs> but as you get older what yeah. happens is that it kills your next day yeah because yeah. you got to recover from the day before i'm right. not talking about drinking i'm talking no, about just, just tired yeah <laughs> it's tired yeah. You know, exhausted. that's right that's a lot but, it uh, really is i'm trying to think of what else i can uh well two with my so we used to go with my daughter when i started going to see music and it's funny we we kind of hooked up with the nerds gone wild crew for a long time uh ed to bone who's the drummer and um and those guys they uh they were really cool for us we had fun with the 80s music and everything like that and we we sort of grew like a little family there a lot of people got to know each other nice and that's what kind of moved on as as i moved on to other uh music um these people would fo you know also follow me too you know they would ask you know who's playing where and stuff like that and it, it gets the word out you know what i mean yeah. that's what we want to do is just get the word out that you know these these venues are you know they have live music there's a lot of live music you can you can start in tonawanda at one o'clock at the rain tree yeah. go over to gfy at three yeah. back to the broadway hotel you know yeah. and then by seven o'clock you go down like anywhere else so you can make a day <laughs> of it of just music and now as we get closer to the nicer weather the out, outdoor festival oh, the outside fun. stuff yeah the outside stuff and that's where i get really uh Kind of overwhelmed sometimes on the amount of music coming out and everything like that because uh um niagara county has music mania mondays they they bring in uh not only they do have regular um local acts but they'll bring them from out of town too really a lot of the a lot of the the tribute bands and stuff like that okay yeah it's in vet i think it's called veterans park, park in niagara county up that way and it's kind of cool um a gateway out in Tonawanda, Gateway Harbor. Oh, yeah. They have the huge stage there on Wednesdays. Yep. You know, they put they bring in two bands there and it's just an open festival, you know, like that. Um and then uh let's see what else we got. You know, of course, we even drive out to the lake sometimes too to 
Angola area? Angola area, too. Okay. So it's just, uh, you know, it's a, it says check out music because it's on the beach, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. That's always fun. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, we, 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 we do it because we we love to do it. We we've, we've made so many friends, you know, and it's kind of cool that like this. I'm talking with you now and everything. It's it's what music talking know, about. It's, it's mu music brings a lot of people together. Yeah. I think more people should get more interested, you know. And, and all of a sudden, you get people that they want to start playing again too. You know, yeah, yeah. it's cool. So, um, hopefully, you will get more venues uh, opening up and promoting more music too. You know. It, it, it all started too with a lot of the solo artists we used to see because they played in bands. But on the side, they used to, you know, solo artists. Sure. So, you know, I used to see a lot of those guys all the time. As we used to go to the Creek View in uh, Williamsville Thursday nights. I've never been there. Yeah. So they'll have a solo artist in the bar all the time. Okay. Then for summertime, they have um, uh, music on Main. I've heard about that. So they have, they have like, there's several bars they put. Uh, they put the uh, what you call the bands outside, mm -hmm. and it's a Thursday. It starts from six to nine, and you can literally walk up and down the street and see all these different uh, uh, bands. I gotta look into that because yeah. that sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know, we started Sorrentino's, Morpat, uh, Glen Tavern, uh, Rationales, and then we end up at Creepy all the time because they 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 go they start the solo artists a little bit later. Irishman too, all those all those venues that are kind of cool, man. Really? Yeah. So it's now with all these bands that you go out to see, because mm -hmm. they're all cover bands. Mm -hmm. Do you notice a lot of crossover? Meaning, um, do bands playing the same songs? Yeah, and uh, that's that's the only a fortunate thing that uh, we, uh, my friends and I, Gary, Gary and that we we always talk about that. You know, well, they're playing the same thing as, uh, and I and I try to t I try to say some things to. You know, you gotta you gotta find your own niche. Yeah. There are some uh, other bands that like Rain Tree plays a lot. Uh, Red, Red Rain plays a lot of different stuff. Yes, you know, so they're cool. So well, you know, but they like can that, because they got yeah. Vicky for the voice, right? So the and, female, and they also got Mike with the right. voice. So they got the female singer who brings them into a different yeah. category. That's why that's why Reset the Vinyl is so successful. You know, um, I mean, there are still some big bands in this area that, that draw the crowd because they are just the bands, you know, the hit and runs, yeah, right. you know, like the nerds and all that uh, flip side, they, they, they are, they are consistent, great bands all the time that they, that people know them. They know they can have a good time. Um, especially young kids. I think they more want to have the party time, you know, than anything. Sure. People of our generation uh, tend to drift to, well, Hey, I really like this music and I want to hear, I don't know if you ever heard of Dave Turner. I don't believe no, so. David Turner. Is it, it's called David Turner Group. There's three of them. Just, just guitar, bass, and drummer. Dude plays a fr friggin' mean guitar, man. He just, he he'll play stuff like from the '60s and '70s, and uh, he's fantastic. Okay. Just fantastic. If you ever get a chance and you see him on my list, David Turner, he's low. Just go out and check him out, man. Okay. Yeah. And I think I think he's a I think he's a dentist too. <laughs> oh really? I think so. But, but yeah. no, I mean it's like um, I don't know. There, there's so many things like Brown Eyed Girl and yeah, uh, uh, bum bum bum. You know, well, yeah, these guys don't play that. But, yeah, you know, but, but there's so many yeah. bands that I would go to see that they were doing. I'm like, really? We're still yeah. doing things like that? It's just like I I don't know. I, I don't get it. But yeah, they got us. They really. I I mean, check. Always check your audience, see because you have most places have set they have their own set list. Read your audience, see what see what your age group is. You know, there's younger people. Let's get some younger music towards yeah. them. You know, it, well, it's kind of funny because yeah. you said the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You yeah. know, which I agree. I mean, yeah, it yeah. was great music. Yeah. And I got to a point in the early 90s. I'm thinking, man, music really got boring because yeah, i'm yeah. listening to 97 rock every day yeah, yeah. i'm like oh they play the same thing every day no wonder i'm not hearing anything right new. right yeah. and then there was a station that came out that was called wlce alice yeah yeah and they played some stuff i'm like holy yeah, crap yeah. where has this been right right and yeah. i'm listening to cheryl crow and all right. these female artists right and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. bob dylan's son's band uh, right right well that's why that's why we like bands that do like more of the 90s stuff too Cause that's Carrie, Carrie, that's Carrie's music. So like lithium, there's a band called tiny music 
and uh, they're they're very cool how they you know they present their whole thing, and they're just edgy stuff sometimes. Uh, some young kids coming up, uh, bear the bronze they're called. Um, there's there's a, a couple of hip hip bands that are in the area. Well, you know the strictly hip. I don't know if you ever seen them play. No, but I've heard them on the radio. Yeah, they're 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 fantastic. You know, we got got great musicians in that band all or around. Or am I thinking of tragically hip? Well, you're thinking of tragically hip, but this it's is called strictly, strictly hip. hip is it's local, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, they're 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 a really great band in this area. So, because they're tied, you know, tied to Canada, so the hip do very well in Western New York. So, what was that other band from? Um, was it the Kingsmen um, from Toronto? Back in the is either late seventies or early eighties, that um, come on, Kramer, get it together. Sure, if you want one till the break of dawn, okay. yeah, this beat goes on. Oh, beat goes on. That's um, it was two songs put together. Yeah, ticket to ride. Um, ticket uh, to ride. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, what was that? <laughs> I know who it is. But, but I mean, that was such a cool yeah, song. Right, Every right. time I hear that come on the radio, it's like my heart just Nothing smiled a little bit. About the weekend. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> they were great. Switching, and I don't know if they switching, did anything switching else. Switching the glide. Yeah, yeah. Switching the glide. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know we're, we're getting kind of too deep into uh -huh. the weeds and we're running close right. on time. But what else do you want to tell us about um, um, Kajina Fest? Yeah, or... <laughs> Kajina Fest. So. We're, we're work, we'll be working on number five as soon as we know, um, like the bill schedule and everything like that, where we can work on, uh, cause we like to do it in October cause there's like, it's like the end of summer. There's really not much for people to do. We tied in with my birthday. My birthday's October 22nd. Yeah. So we kind of tie it in with that era. So we will, we'll be working on it in the, in the, probably in the next month or so. And then we'll find out, uh, who uh, you know we, we we'll, we'll invite to play because we get a, we get a lot of great solo artists in the area. Uh, one one cat that plays great is Jamie Holka. I don't know if you ever heard his name. I had him on the show. Yeah, so he's he's yeah. Fa he's fantastic. Yeah. He plays every year. He's he's played every year for me. So he's he's fantastic. <laughs> he's on his own level. Oh yeah, ja <laughs> I mean, Jamie he's, is he's just he's so cool. crazy good and he's cool too. You know what I mean? And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they so 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 these musicians are so nice. Um, I also have um, like some of the good tribute bands in this area. Uh, are you a Rush fan? Not at all. No, I, okay. I, I never dug Rush. Okay, I so I got friends of mine that come together and they make they made a band called Analog Kids. Yeah, okay, and they're they're pretty spot on with the music. Okay, yeah, they're very talented dudes, man. Just, well, uh, there again, there's so yeah, many talented people yeah, in so, this area that, yeah. and you know, they don't. Sometimes they just don't get the recognition. Right, right. And so it's unfortunate, but but it would be I was just hoping that more venues. Well, we'll start seeing more as as summer comes along. More places will have outside music and stuff like that, where they can fit them and stuff like that. But I wish we had more venues like the Cove, which has the big stage there. Yes, huge stage, great for sound, great music in there. We need maybe another one, maybe in the North Towns or something like that. So if anybody's got any money, go build a bar. Well, and what they've got outside too. <laughs> yeah, and they got outside with yeah. the COVID. I mean, with right. that big thing that they put out there yeah. with that, um, uh, I don't know, tractor trailer yeah, bed yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real cool. I, I went there and I saw yeah. um, Porcelain Train play right, there. I yes. saw um, yeah. uh, Pat Terry's band, uh, Naughty Dog, or I, I forget which yeah. one. Bad, bad Habit. I forget. Sorry, Pat. Okay. Don't get pissed <laughs> off at me. You're way bigger yeah. than me, man. Don't get so, pissed off at me. But uh, <laughs> and then right next door to them is the Transit Music Lounge. Yeah. And they have outside, but they they're a tiny place. They jam people in there, you know. They they get rocking bands in there and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, and I I, I wish I we had time. I, I wish I could mention all the musicians I know that hey, have we gotten can... gotten me here. You know where I am because they're so they're so friendly too to me. You know, always happy to see me. I'm always happy to see them. We're always shaking hands, giving hugs. Uh, you know, a lot of great guys out there, and and, and like I says, it's nice that the the, fe the female and the women are starting to come out yeah. now, playing yeah. more and more. So because that adds a whole distinction of different music. Oh, it does. That, you know that guys can't sing, but they can sing. You know yep. what I mean? That's what's great about it. Yep. So but No, I mean, you, yeah. I'm not going to sit there and try yeah. to do cover a Cheryl Crow song. Right. It ain't right. going to work. No, it ain't going to work. So. 
but, but uh, uh no I, I look this has been really cool if you got anything else you'd like to say because again we're just uh getting ready to wrap up okay i mean I'd love to have you back because okay, we could probably do this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd like to bring one of my friends with me, like Gary, Gary Johnson, who does the videoing and stuff like that. He his knowledge of music is really good. That'd be fantastic. He's really good. He's got he's he pulls up stuff like that all all the time. So well, we're gonna talk yeah, about this, yeah, but look yeah. up Jim on Facebook if you're a musician, especially because you know I mean it's so kind of him to post your uh, your gigs that you get coming up and uh, and people pay attention to him. Because, uh, you know, it's just, he's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Support support uh, local venues, support local music. You know, just get out there and just enjoy yourselves. Yeah, absolutely. That's all, you know, in closing on that, that's that's what all I got to say. Cool. Just, all right. Yeah, thanks so much, man. No really problem. Thanks for having it. me. Thank you very much. No, my pleasure. <laughs> and for the next couple of weeks, uh, next week, we got Marty Romando. Hi, Marty. Coming yeah. on. Uh, the week after that, we got uh, the Patsy and Dottie show. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alex Nobles is going to be, I believe it's on the 30th, going into May. Then we've got um, Jim Thompson, the J.C. Thompson, Thompson Band. Band. Yep, yeah. uh, and then uh, Marty Milbrand from Nashville North is going to be on, hopefully, with his lovely wife, because we're going to have a show that's about from a musician's wife's perspective <laughs> for a guy that's out there playing all the time, especially right, right. when they just got married not that long yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so. I love those guys. So, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, thanks for uh, for hanging with us. This is going to be on YouTube. Uh, it should be posting shortly after we get done with this. So okay. Anybody that missed it, they'll be able to see your lovely <laughs> face and hear your story, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put it out there for people to see and stuff cool. like that. So it'd be kind of cool. Cool. Yeah, it's this is very cool. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Three chords in the truth. Kramer out. Love you all. Bye. Bye bye.